Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the theater at Frankfurt High School. At this time, we ask that you please shut off all cell phones and electronic devices for they can interfere with the wireless equipment. If at any time throughout the show you have any rowdy or noisy children, we ask that you please take them to the lobby as so not to interfere with the people sitting around you or the performers on stage. So now please sit back, relax, and enjoy tonight's production of Freaky Friday, the musical. talking crazy, mind-bending. Ellie! What? Hi, sweetie. This is my mother. Hi there. You look adorable. See, she looks nice. She makes an effort. You could do that. Mom, I'm trying to tell a story. I know I'm being supportive. Well, could you do that somewhere else? Look, maybe you should start by introducing the family. I'm getting there. This is my story. She used to be so nice. Mom! Fine, I'm going. Every morning is pretty hectic in our house, but like this morning was even more chaotic than... Mom, what are you doing? I want to see your pretty face. She hides her face. Mom! Fine. This morning, she was really up in my grill. Just one day, that's all I need. Just a day without her nagging. Just one day, I beg, I plead, but the drag just keeps on dragging. Well, I wish for just one Monday or Friday to be free. Free to slouch and sulk and mumble and be messy and be me. All I ask is for 12 hours to live my life my way. Just one simple, awesome, crazy, epic day. Mom, I really need to ask you something. Honey, I'm going to need you to hold that thought. The florist is outside making the arch of roses. Tori, not roses. Peonies, ranunculus, fix that. Uh-huh. White tape prints okay? Yes, but not the short ones. I got Halle bit where you want the cooler. Tori, focus the fish. Oh, Ellie, didn't you wear that yesterday? It hasn't been improved by time. I wish you would change. Please change. One more day, she's on my back. She's been riding me forever. On my faults and all I lack and all I oh whatever. For a start, and I know she'd like a daughter who was pretty thin and smart, and I know she's freaking perfect, but I'll never be that way. Not for a single solitary day. Tomorrow is the wedding, and tonight is the rehearsal, and there is no room for error. I mean, not one flaw. We've got guests in just ten hours. Dress the tables, trim the flowers. I want beauty and perfection. I want total awe. And with weddings magazine here for a future on the scene here the business is depending on this one success now breathe but thank you tori and in fact that is the story so get moving move this process and move this mess you heard her move just one day is all i want with my family united here's a bay no fights no taunts just the four of us delighted I mean, look, I love my kids, I love my work, I love my life, and I love my fiance, and in a day I'll be his wife, and I'll throw the perfect wedding, and I'll throw the bride's bouquet. And we'll have one happy, loving family day. Fletcher, that is mine. Dad gave it to me. Uh -uh. Fletcher, give it back. Mom, there's something I really need to ask you. Angry Bob wants to hold the hourglass. Angry Bob can shut it, weirdo. Ellie, just put it down. I brought donuts. Yay! And coffee for the bride and groom. Morning, Ellie. Uh-huh. Fletcher, up here, buddy. Have you been practicing your wedding toast? His wedding toast is gonna kill him and it's straight to Hollywood. 
Mom, there's something really important I need to ask you. Mom, there's something really important I need to ask you. Mother, Fletcher is puppeting me again. Stop yelling. One more day, she'll fight and fuss when her joy is all I'm after. It's been a long, tough time for us, and it's time to hear some laughter. Cause I only want her happy and well punctual and clean But she mumbles and she grumbles and at times she's outright mean She's bright and so insightful but these traits aren't on display Well, not lately, often, ever, not today How's my girl? Mom, Dad, you're here early We couldn't check into the hotel yet so we thought we'd come and help Oh, great I'll go find your father something to eat Eh, yeah, she's not gonna have anything I want anyway. Hannah, Gretch, uh, we can leave in just one sec. Have you asked your mom about the hunt? Ask me what? There's this thing tonight. Tonight? Tonight is in the rehearsal dinner that's being photographed by Weddings Magazine. That tonight, Mrs. Blake, Ellie Gretch, and me have formed a team to do the hunt. Oh, I know all about the hunt. You kids stay up all night taking pictures of yourselves doing crazy, dangerous things all over the city. It's unsafe. And it scares me to death. Well, my mom said it was okay. You're Swedish, honey. Everything's okay. Okay, real quick. The hunt is a scavenger hunt. It is the mother of all scavenger hunts. We have it every year at my school, and every year there's crazy things to find and new things to do. And every year there's a new list master, and this year's list master is Adam. <laughs> the, the hunt is so much fun, and I really want to win. There's just one issue. Just one day, that's all I see, and I have been asking nicely. Just one day, it's not a week, it's a night to speak precisely. And the hunt is not a stunt, it's my one shot at fame, to be someone who is something, not just what's her name. If I'm in it, I can win it, if she only say okay. We'd be off and running, gunning for one fun. Ellie, dear, it's not the time. No, those aprons are a crime. And that sea bass isn't fresh. It's three days dead. Mom, I really need to know Mom. if I can wait now where she go. But I'll never draw her focus Mom. from the bread. It's a million Mom. little things. Just a little thing. Just a little thing. Just a little thing. Just a little thing. What a day. about it. I'm sorry, honey. The answer is no. Wah, wah. Shut up! Do not tell your brother to shut up. You suck, Fletcher. Ellie. Sorry, Mom. All right, girls, uh, go to class without me. I'll talk to my mom, and then BAM! We'll do the hunt. Corey, mom. these pears mom. are even close to ripe. Mom, could you forget the stupid pears for one second? Elle, maybe give your mom a break. Could you stop pretending like you're my dad? Because you're not harsh. Ellie, apologize now. It's OK. I get it. Everyone in the family is a little tense this morning. The family? I see a lady, her boyfriend, and a weirdo with a puppet for a friend. My name's Angry Bob. That is enough. You're not a weirdo. Could you take him to school, please? Yeah. Come on, Fletch. 11.30, back here to go over the ceremony. Yes. I hate you. Excuse me? I hate you. I hate your attitude. 
I don't need to live all large. I just like to be in charge of the things I do and eat and how I dress. Oh, my dear, I wish you knew how much work I have to do just to keep you in your munchies and your mess. Put that if down. You knew what if I go you through, knew what I go through, day in my old day in front of you. Maybe you would maybe you would just say yes. I can't say you yes. knew what I go through, how it's hellishly unfair. Oh, I'd love to go to school, have a day without a care. How I wish you'd understand and see the world my way. Just one day, just one day, just one day. like a child. Oh, really, Mom? I'm acting like a child. Wait. Wait. What? what? This, this is, is not, not funny! funny. Ah! You, you, you have my face. You have my face and my body and, and you just broke my hourglass. What is happening? Ellie, it's me. Get away from me, weird clone. Ellie, it's me. I'm Mom. You are not my mom. I'm Mom. Shut up! Ella, you are not to tell me to shut up! Oh my gosh, you are my mom. How... how did you get in my body? How did you get in mine? I'm in yours? Oh no, 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 oh, no, 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 Oh, this sucks. Look, do you think it... maybe it's... maybe it's just a bad dream? Wake up! Wake up! Whoa, you pull it and it just... Days there. Stop that! <laughs> Look, maybe, maybe we're tripping. Someone slipped us some drugs. Fletcher, your brother did not drug us. But we're sick. I'm calling 911. Wait, no, stop. If you call the police and tell them we've switched bodies, we'll be locked up and medicated until someone writes a book about us. No hospitals, no doctors, no way. We are going to figure this out on our own. Fine, but if we're not going to go to the hospital, what are we going to do? I'm kind of freaking out here, OK? Ellie, listen to me. We are going to figure this out, and we are not going to freak out. All right? All right. Now, the wedding is tomorrow. <coughs> is that really necessary? Yes. This is the worst day of my life. You are the worst thing that ever happened to me. Young lady, watch your tone. You don't like it? It's your tone. Be more positive. Get your hair out of your face. Put down that hourglass. The, the hourglass. hourglass. Oh, we totally broke a magic hourglass. Don't be ridiculous. It is not magic. It, it is, is magic. magic. Oh, this is such a mess. Wait. There are two of them. Dad gave them to us. One for me, one for you. All we gotta do is go find yours and we'll switch back. Where'd you put it? Funny story. How funny? I don't have it. What do you mean you don't have it? I sold it. You sold it? When? A week or two ago. But those were from Dad. Dad gave those to us. You wanna forget everything about him? No, we needed the money. What? Things have been tight financially, so I sold it to an old antique store in Wicker Park. Secondhand Mo's. It opens at one, we can go and get it tomorrow. We just have to get through this one morning. They're here, the writer and photographer of Weddings Magazine. Oh my gosh. Finally, I get to meet the bride who's woman enough to cater, design, and execute her own wedding. Hi, it's really nice to meet you. Shh. Mm -mm. Oh my god. Mom? Catherine, I know you wanted to show them your first concept sketches. Tori, did you show them the backyard? Go. No, Catherine. Go. No, 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 yeah, oh don't do that. Go. The backyard is awesome. Bam. Ellie, listen to me. That is Weddings Magazine. This cover story will either make or break my business. OK, so until we figure out how to switch back, I need you to pretend to be me. I know it's hard, but I can help you. OK, it's not that it's hard. I have school. You can miss school today. Actually, I cannot. Why? Because if I have one more unexcused absence, I'll fail 11th grade. Fail! 
when were you going to tell me about this? At the mandatory parent-teacher conference today? How can you be so irresponsible? I don't know. Guess you'll find out at the conference. Okay. Okay, you need to stay here and pretend to be me, which means I'll go to school. <laughs> no way in hell you could handle a day at my school. Ellie, first, don't say hell. Second, of course I can. You don't know how to talk. You don't know how to act. You're gonna be weird. Oh, and people are gonna think I'm weird. It's gonna last forever. I'm not listening to you because you're being ridiculous. You listen to me. There is an interview today, and it is essential that you be polite and charming. Right, because that's so you, and not snarky, and do not be mean to Mike. Oh my god, this is so lame. No carbs. Don't even think about it. Focus. On what? One, get interviewed. Two, get my picture taken. What a rough life. <laughs> Ellie, being a working parent is in fact extremely difficult. Comparatively, your life is simple. Um, my life is complicated and tiring and hard. You go to school, you come home. Easy. You make the party food, then you go to the party. Wow! Don't worry about me. I think I'm good. I got this. I got this. I can see what to do for me to be you. I got this. I'll bake stuff, I can bake like I make stuff like you. I'll have a laugh, have my coffee, half cap, and then yell at the staff on your behalf. I got this, yeah, I got this. Put a stick up my butt, be quick to say what? That, not this. I'm perfection, I don't need your direction at all. Call me a slob or a slackerish flub. I can act like a snob and fool that mob. I got this like it's my job. Good. Then you'll see what it means to have a job. Stop. I'll go to school. Don't wear that. Mom, you got to promise me you'll keep your head down. Don't look at anyone. Don't talk to anyone. And don't embarrass me. Ellie, believe it or not, I went to high school and I did just fine. Got this. I got this. Do my hair with some care. I'll primp and prepare. I got this. I'm delighted. It's not right. You're excited for school. Stop if you may. It's a part I can play, and it's only a day. And so I say, I got this. Yes, I got this. I'll be bright and demure. Act right till I'm sure they bought this. I'll show. of you. Thousand fellow students all excited just like me. A community of learners. Really? How hard could it be? Now listen up, you hunters, here's the rules and here's the deal. The list goes up online at nine, and then the hunt's for real. Don't schmooze for clues, cause I'll refuse. I only do what's right, cause I'm List Master Adam. <sighs> and my word is law tonight. It's law yes, tonight. tonight, tonight. Hello, 
Gretchen, Hannah, Parker. Hey, Ellie. Ellie. Morning! <laughs> oh, Elle. So, what kind of sandwich did you bring today? Oh, I made, huh, my mom made ham with chutney on brioche. Do you want it? Do you know it? Amazing. Catch you later. Do I give him my lunch every day? Like you're feeding a unicorn? Girls, I, I don't like him, do I? No. You love him! Oh, Look out! It's Savannah! Ellie Blake. Yes? I heard something funny, Ellie Blake. I heard that you thought you could win the hunt this year. Savannah, clearly you're at the top of the social hierarchy here. Kudos, um, but there has been some misunderstanding. You better believe it. I got this. I got this. I'm the queen of the hunt. Your green, your regrets. I got this. You'll lose, girl, if you choose to refuse, girl, to see. You shouldn't begin with the war. You can't win. Cut the smarter than sin. I'm rich and I'm thin. Savannah. Look out in Savannah. Back to Manna. She's our box humana. As we conquer the walk, I'm talking the top banana. She's the top banana. So trust me. Blake, where are you supposed to be right now? I don't know. Right. Careful, you need a little more fill in the left corner there. Oh, no, 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 careful. That's hand painted China. Catherine likes her tablescapes framed from above. Oh, right. Um, whatever. Here are the towels. They keep things dry. Uh, there's a plate, napkin, silverware. This is one of those thingies. You know, you use them to flip until you flip a pant. Spatula! It's a spatula. Uh, where did you learn to cook? Um, she went to the CIA. I'm a spy? The Culinary Institute of America. Food spy. So as a working mom, not to mention bride-to-be, how do you manage your work-life balance? I ignore my kids. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, just kidding! <sighs> Catherine plans everything with military precision. She makes a plan and we go to war. Weddings? <laughs> Weddings are war. What inspired you to do everything for your own wedding? Obviously, I'm crazy. Tell you an industry secret. Old brides are a little crazy. Oh, no. Not because I'm a bride. It's just me. I like to boss people around. Right, Tori? <laughs> what makes Catherine's work so special is her attention to every detail. You have to see the cake. The cake? Your wedding cake. I'll go get it. Your fiance's name is Mike. Uh-huh. So your assistant told us that you and Mike met when you finished your kitchen covenant. That's adorable. Is it? Ta-da! Oh my gosh! I made that? I made that! Bam! That's spectacular. Right? Is that fondant or ganache? Tori? Ganache. Ganache. A lot of ganache. Tell me more. It... It tastes really good. Catherine, if I'm going to write a wedding's magazine cover story, I need to know the woman behind the bride, behind the wedding. Right. Uh, Who's the real Catherine Blake? I'm uptight and neurotic. I crave complete control, but baby, I do magic with just a mixing ball. 
I somehow stay this skinny while baking giant cakes. I guess that's just my jam. <laughs> jam is who I am. You do, you do. What it takes to use what you got. Yeah, what you got. I'm stellar at the cooking and pretty dang good looking. Right? Tell me that I'm not. a killer cake thanks to you thanks to me it's your cake you designed it it's your recipe now Tori here is nervous I snap and Tori freaks but look at her meringue they're the perfect little peaks she acts like I'm the boss we both know it's not true I dictate like a jerk she somehow makes it work. I do. You do? Yes, I do. Yeah, you what you got. Yeah, and it's what, what you got. What you I got. got it like reflexes. Our key to our success is we keep this kitchen high. If I get all the glory, the credit goes to Tori. Cause I do squat. What? You make it work with what you got. What you got? What I got. What you got. A man that I just met. Ooh. The wedding is insane. The cake's the best you'll get. Ooh. Hold it, I'm withholding. And put that in your book. But give this girl a knife. Then hold on for dear life, cause she can cook. Yeah, she can cook. What you got, what you got, what you got. Ooh, what you got, what you got. What you, what you, what you, what you got? That actually went pretty well. You bet it did. Has Mike seen this? No. Mike has got to see this. Catherine, it's not fast. Stop running. No, no. <laughs> ah! The cake. Uh-oh. Mr. Bloomer, this is your notes. Uh, thank you. Mr. Bloomer, would you like me and Margaret to take the notes today? Sure. Thank you. Ms. Blake, what a treat. What a wondrous occasion to have you in biology today. You know, they did a study, and sarcasm is the most ineffective way to communicate. Really? How interesting. Oh, Ellie, what did your mom say about the hunt? My mom. Oh, no, I can't do the hunt. Oh, what? How can you drop out? Well, my mom is under a lot of pressure right now when I have to be there for her. Since, since when do you want to do anything for your mom? You said all she cares about is the wedding. Yeah. I said that? Elle, look. We're a team. We have to do the hunt together. Please don't give up. Please. Adam! Nice of you to join us today. De nada. Hey, what's up? What? What? Did you say, hey, sup? Yeah, I said, sup. Oh. Uh. Hey, Adam, you want to be partners? I uh, read the book for fun last summer. No, 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 I already have a partner. Too bad. Class. Class. No pop quiz today. Yeah. <laughs> the frogs are here. We're uh. doing dissection. Why do we have to dissect today? Because I'll be damned if my minivan's gonna smell like hot frogs again. Gloria has the frogs, go get them. I like your hair today. You do? Yeah, I can 
see your face. Thank you! Pick up your scalpels. It's so sad. Gretchen, your frog lived a long and happy life, filled with triumphs. Hey, Ellie, last time you saw a starfish, it made you sick. You need a bucket? You know, Savannah, today I feel pretty comfortable with a knife. Very good, Miss Blake. I'm ace at all anatomies, a master of dissection, an expert chef who wields an expert knife. But still I sense a gremlin in this system of perfection. There clearly are still mysteries to life. It's kingdom, phylum, class, and then it's order, family, genus. It all comes back to me like child's play. Ah, he leans over my shoulder there in all his long and leanness and cuts my heart and knowledge clean away. Try to keep a focused mind and steady hand. Oh, keep focused, oh, keep steady. But the rhythm of my heart is like a country western band. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, man. He's an earth and inarticulate, a specimen of truant. And though we're both 16, he's much too much young. Much too young. My amygdala is fully formed, my frontal lobe is fluent. Then pheromones go futzing with my tongue. Don't amaze, I'm way impressed, like sweet technique. Holy cow, I'm like totally on thinks. Good lord, now can't I even speak? <laughs> make another one. Or not, either way, no big deal. Look, how about we just skip the cake? No cake, bam, problem solved. That's not how you solve a problem. I tried to keep her at the hotel, Catherine. I swear. She wants us here. You want us here? See, she wants us here. Um, do you guys want to bake a wedding cake? Ah, uh, you're very funny. Like you'd let us. Katie! Oh, ah, uh, no! Oh, quit messing around. Mm, no. Who are you? You remember Pastor Bruno. 
from the wedding workshop weekend. Wedding workshop, wow. Catherine! It's so good to see you. Oh, it's uh, good to see you too, buddy. I understand the plan is to have the wedding outside in the backyard. Or you could have it in a church, like normal people. Hey, they go again. I need to go lie down. You just woke up, Gordon. Don't sass me. <laughs> Always with the sass. God love that man. Somebody's gotta. Uh, yeah, let's uh, talk through the ceremony. It's traditional to start with a prayer, but I like to do something a little bit different. You go satanic? N no. I like to begin by asking the couple to tell us a story of how they first met. I love that. How'd you first meet? Okay, so it's the first day on the job. Right, you were designing our kitchen cabinets. Katie's at the stove, working on something, and I say, wow, that smells great. Only thing I know how to cook her seven layer bars. Tell him what you said next. Oh no, you tell him. It's funny when you say it. Seriously, you. Oh, come on. She said. I said. Seven layer don't bars don't actually count when you're as cooking. cooking. With the stuff. She I hates love seven, seven layer, layer bars. bars. All right. And you two are writing your own vowels? No. Yes. Oh no. They're not done? No. Katie, I know how important it is for you to have every detail perfect. The vows are important to me. That's why I want to stand up there in front of everyone we know and love tomorrow and say words that come from us. Why don't I show you what I have so oh, far? No, 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 that, that's okay. That's okay. I'm not a man of many words and none that can convey exactly how I felt when I first saw your face that day. I'm not a man who makes a speech or flouts a fancy rhyme, though all that I can say is I will love you for all time. That's nice. And I feel somehow I know you like I've known no one before, but still I know there's more. I'm not a man who writes a book, that gift it isn't mine. For you, I'd write a thousand books, my heart in every line. And every book would tell of you and what our life will be. And through it all, you'd stay a stunning mystery to me. Because I feel somehow I know you like I've known no one before. Though I know for all I know of you, there always will be more. Cause love is in the knowing and the wishing that you knew. And Catherine, my Catherine, sat on some gum. Great. What? What is that? What do you see right there? It's a tattoo of, I think it's a dandelion. Cute. Why? Why would I do this? I have a tattoo on my underage backside. 
Officially 55 minutes scheduled. We need to plate the salads, marinate the fish, and wrap the fish oh, with bacon. This all hurts my head. Do you need your, you know? Yeah. Where's my, you know? Top shelf, Earl Grey 10. <gasps> these are cigarettes. Yeah. I smoke. Yeah. Tori, throw these away, you enabler. Sorry, sorry, sorry. This is why. Tastes like carpet. Busted, you're busted. I'm shocked my world is rocked and I'm a little bit disgusted. And it's not like it's no biggie. Every time you sneak a ciggy, you're setting off a tiny cancer bomb. But now you're busted, busted, dear mom. And what else are you hiding that you never thought I'd? Some cream filling now and then. Oh, you're busted, busted again. Oh, yeah. I'm seriously calm down. I found your secret munchies. So where do you hide the bomb? I don't do drugs. I eat Cheetos in bed because they comfort me. I thought this was a scrunchie. Turns out it was a bomb. Mom, get that out of your hair. I found your secret stash. Candy corn. It should be available year-round. I checked your browser cache. Fox News, for shame. Just looking for the truth, Dad. I saw that look, oh geez, Dad. You're hot for that old pair. I found all your CDs, Dad. I knew that you liked Cher. And dishonesty can hurt, and lies we can't accept. But the biggest thing I learned, snooping while you slept is with moms and dads. Dr. Aaron, hey, have we met? Yeah. No, I, I know you by reputation. 
She's a cool guidance counselor. Yes, I know. I go here. <laughs> right. Um, Catherine Blake. Getting married tomorrow. So much to do, so maybe we keep this short. This is Mrs. Luckinbill. She teaches literature. Scarlet Letter. Great read. Real page turner. And Senior O'Brien, our Spanish teacher. Buenos tardes. Now, I've been looking over Ellie's test scores. She's never tested well. Because I don't study. Or the tests are too hard. Agree to disagree. I've also seen her conduct reports. I think she's a pretty great kid. I could do better. She's been absent from my class 17 times this year. What? What? No, I haven't. Have I? Uh, look at her. Play the innocent. Ellie, how does what Senior O'Brien just said make you feel? Shocked! And angry. Angry at myself. Angry. Yes. The Aldenbach assessment, the adaptive behavior scale, the Beck anxiety inventory. All these tests tell me angry. I Those don't... tests are stupid. Mrs. Blake, if Ellie continues to treat her classes like a Las Vegas buffet, she may not graduate from this school. Great. That's just great. Sometimes I like to role play. Ellie, you pretend to be your mother, and Mrs. Blake, you pretend to be Ellie. Let's talk. No! no. I can tell you what's wrong. I infantilize my daughter. I'm controlling, I'm a pill. I micro, micro manage. I'm all up in her grill. It's called parenting. I demand that she be perfect. All that pressure, all that fuss. I'm a parenting disaster. Don't you think so? Let's discuss. Forgive my darling mother and forget each thing she said. Put the blame where it belongs now, squarely on my head. I'm reckless and I'm feckless. I go and get tattoos. I think it's called a tramp stamp. I can show you if you choose. Oh, no! No, 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 no! At least she doesn't smoke like me. I smoke! My faults are much too numerous to name. It's awful to admit, but that's the game. Somebody has got to take. Somebody has got to take. Somebody has got to take the blame. Aha. Uh -huh. It's a single parent family, so you both are filled with rage. Her development arrested at the pre pre verbal stage. Or it could be ADHD, ADD, or STDs. I suggest that you try Ritalin and yoga and soy cheese. Soy cheese! This is asinine. She's functionally unpunctual, she's raucous, and she's rude. Excuse me, ask me, hasso pair dare latitude. She's intelligent. Yeah, hear that? But unfocused, barely there. I think she smokes the ganja. She does not! I don't! I swear. She's wasting her potential just the same. It's not her fault if she's too bright to tame. But somebody has got to take, somebody has got to take, somebody has got to take the... Stop with all the blaming and the shaming. Hey. Oh, you hush! The armchair analyzing and the psychobabble mush. I'm a teacher, I should reach her, so the failure here is mine. She's bright and she's articulate. Her heart and mind are fine. In all this finger-pointing, this crusade, no one thought to check her file to see she struggled for a while since the seventh grade. The year Dad passed away, just say died. He died. Oh, honey, I've been thoughtless and for years. I never thought your anger for tears it's clear to me i have to take a listen do we have to do this now i'd rather not discuss it anyhow it's high school counselor bs all the same cause nobody has got to take the blame i don't want to talk 
about it. That's fine. Let's wrap this up. Thank you for all your feedback. From now on, I'm going to be really good. Your class sounds really boring. But somebody has got to take the blame. How can it, Kevin? Eight years until retirement. Thanks for sticking up for me in there. You're welcome. 17 days of missed school, and I thought we were having a moment. Well, that moment is over. Young lady, we have responsibilities in this world. Missing class is not okay. When you get back in this body, you're grounded. Well, when you get back in this body, your pants are gonna feel a little tighter because I had two pieces of extra gluten toast. Keys, now. Blake! Gym, now. I, what? You are doing my gym class. Well, right now. Honey, we have responsibilities in this world. Missing class is not okay. I'm waiting on you, Blake. I don't like waiting. You go to class, I'll go get the thing. See you at home. Shopping with my mom, shopping with my mom. I'm going in the stores for the fancy doors and fancy. Could you just shut up for like five minutes? Thanks. Out of business? Out of business? What's wrong? So many things. I stupidly sold this hourglass to this place a while ago and now I need to buy it back, but they're closed forever. So I'm stuck forever. There's an hourglass in the boggle set. I don't need that one, Fletcher. If you're interested in purchasing any of the remaining inventory, it's been distributed to different antique stores throughout Chicago. You could just go to another store and get it. There are a million antique stores in this city. We'd never get to all of them before tomorrow. Quick and plain and go hunt for it, toots. Wait, go hunt for it? The hunt! Fletcher, if we get the hourglass on the list for the hunt, everyone's gonna be looking for it! Come on, I gotta text your sister. Sounds good, old girl. Let's go! Today, you will attempt the Myers Extreme Fitness Obstacle Challenge. Let's go! Let's go! My grandma moves faster than this! Let's go! Come on! You don't pass my fitness challenge! You don't graduate! Do you hear that, sister? Smell that? Smells like weakness! Let's go, play my jam. Get ready, all you losers. You TV dinner winners and snack pack snoozers. SB on alert. No exceptions or excuses. You stomach acre fakers. No, I don't buy your ruses. Time to feel the hurt. Get the hourglass and list for the hunt. Fine. Blake! No devices! Everybody drop and give me 20 push-ups since Ellie Blake oh, brought her device oh, into my gym do. class. <laughs> you too, Blake. Let's go, let's go! Watch your back, metal watch your back. Oh, like someone moving faster. Oh, like someone on the deck. So babies watch it down. Team 
up for the hunt this year. I'll be on a team with you. <laughs> Look, I don't really care about the hunt, but I want what's on the list. So team up, Savannah and Ellie together. Super nutritious food for thought. Elle, tell us what you're doing. Say you have a plan. You're set to do the hunt now. You couldn't, now you can. And, and now you've asked Savannah, Savannah to be partners. L for real. What's the truth? What's the plan? What's your deal? Girls, I can explain. Don't bother. Whatever. You can talk, Blake. You're not breathing hard enough. Watch your back. Better watch your back. With a look over your shoulder and a look back down the track. Run with wolves now, baby. You gotta please the pack. Better run like heck. Save your neck. Better watch your back. Adam, hi. Hey. Uh, have you heard about this new hourglass filled with pink sand? One of a kind, uh, right here in the city. Long story short, uh, since you're the list master, could you put it on the list for the hunt? Then you'd already know the clue. That's cheating. I ain't no DJ Ellie. I don't take requests. The hunt, I hold it sacred. A bond I won't transgress. For Pete's sake, it's a lark at most. A stupid childish game. So you say, it's my thing all the same. Watch your back, better watch your back. Cause you're flailing and you're failing and you're sailing for a smack. Don't mess with the list master, cause he'll never cut you slack. And the rule's the rule, so can't be cool and watch your back. In my day, I remember that our phys ed education was delightful. But this is only pain, that teacher is insane. The kids are so unfriendly, so unfeeling, so unhelpful and so spiteful. And all my muscles hurt. This virus brings the hurt. Lesson that you learn is what burn. Cause life is hard and that's a fact. That's a fact. So you better watch your back. Are you okay, Blake? Would you like to take a rest? Watch your back. I would. Thank you. There is no rest in my fitness challenge. Everybody listen up. Ellie Blake thinks she's earned a break. So you know what that means? Blake has to start from the very beginning. You have one minute. Uh, watch your back. Better watch your back. Loser. Always someone moving faster. Always someone on attack. Judas. Now, baby, and you gotta please the pack. Better run like heck, save your neck, better watch your back. You are not who I thought you were. Watch your back. Oh, watch your back. Two seconds over. Fail. so cool when you and Mike are married? Are you kidding me? No. Do you ever think about Dad at all? I don't really remember him much. Well, let me tell you, Mike is not Dad. I say, old girl, are we picking Ellie up about now? No, she's getting a ride home. Oh? Huh? What? You wish she were here? Yeah, she's awesome. Awesome how? She shows me how to do cool things. Like, when? Like this one time this kid named Glenn was mean to me at school, so she showed me how to fill water balloons with hot water, and we waited for him, and then we creamed him. It was so cool. <laughs> well, if you think she's so cool, why are you always sticking your puppets in her face? I don't know. It's fun. I get to work on my heckler comeback. Your heckler comeback? I'm building my act for when I go to Hollywood. Fletcher, you're not going to L.A. with your puppets. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, he is. 
No, he's not. You said my jokes were funny. They're not. You said my puppets were creative. Nah. You said puppeteers make a lot of money. I lied. Nuh-uh. Parents don't lie. Yeah, they do. Parents lie. It's sad but true. Mine lied to me. Yours lies to you. I lied to you. No way, about what? Where do I start? We say there's no monster there under your bed, but who knows, it's not like we search. And no one likes broccoli, we're all bad at flossing, and everyone's sleeping in church. And Buck the dog, not at a farm, Buck is dead. And Mom wasn't wrestling with Mike in their bed. And Santa Claus, just forget what I said. No Santa's the shiz, and Santa knows just how it is. great and special and stuff when really you're not they'll say that one day you'll feel normal but that's not enough not by a lie they'll hold you and tell you they love and they care but they lie when they tell you they'll always be there i know it's upsetting but life isn't fair and parents die they tell you they trying to tell you what I wish someone would have told me. Tomorrow is the wedding and tonight is the rehearsal but there's been no sign of Cap and she's been gone all day and I've tried to make decisions but I haven't got so I oversee the scallops with the pesh jelly. Seriously wants to deal with Ellie. She's a total Machiavelli and never to be trusted. No, not anymore. Mommy lies and Ellie's cruel and they're mean to me at school and there's nobody who gets you so right out the door. Sit down for dinner soon. I'm sure the bride will be down any minute now. We have to rehearse, right? Now where's our darling Catherine? And where the deuce has dinner been? This dinner's a disaster, that's the story here. So we're sent on telling the Ellie. Six hundred pieces of bread and four chocolates to where Ellie's been. Cause my bride has always Catherine. And where the heck has Ellie been? And where the devil's Ellie? Fletcher? Um, around here. I'm sure he's fine. Catherine! Where have you been? Because I have made some executive decisions. <sighs> I featured the hunt ranges and the tabletop arrangements and the napkins are all folded in God, a God, Tori, who's even looking at the napkins? Who cares? I do! I work for you because we care about napkins. That's who we are. What's wrong with you today? I'm going inside to plate the salads and then... I quit. Let's walk to our place in the ceremony. 
You guys, good timing. I changed my mind about the hunt. Ellie can go. Off you go. Um, we need to talk. Today was not okay, Ellie. What happened? She alienated Adam. She kissed up to Savannah. Oh, no, she didn't. Oh, yes, she did. We came to tell you in person. We're doing the hunt without you. We wish it could be different. You guys? You guys, wait! My best friends hate me? What did you do? Nothing, honey. Girls, spy this will blow over. Did you even get the hourglass on the list? Katie, finally. You've got to tell me if we have a signed seat. Stop! Back off, handsy! Hey, Mom, tone it down. Let's not argue tonight. Don't talk to her like that. You're so patronizing. Babe, are you okay? You know what, Mike? No, I'm not okay. I'm rethinking this whole wedding thing. All of it. You are. Huh. After everything that... You know what? Never mind. Mike, Mike, wait, she didn't mean that. You did that on purpose. You ruined my life on purpose. You are so irresponsible. Just one day, I did my best. A disaster, but I faced it. Just one day, Just one, one day giant and test. I and had it isn't like you aced it. And I tried to get the hours of treasure that you missed. And you couldn't even that figure how to get it on the list. It. Now we're sure almost at the wedding. I found this note on my truck. I don't want to be where I'm not wanted. Have a great wedding. Love, Fletcher. Just one day. Okay, so everyone's freaking out because Fletcher is missing. All the wedding guests are out looking for him. My grandma and grandpa are offering advice. Mom called the police. Everyone's asking me questions and I don't know the right answers. I was ready to be grown up, just waiting for the day. And now I am, I'm freaking. Does mommy feel this way? See, they think that I had answers. They look to me to they see this old, old woman, but there's a little girl inside. Catherine, you're overreacting. Boys run away. I ran away all the time. Well, feel free to run away now. Sorry. I'm not myself today. I'm in a funny way. I know. Day. Tori, we need to put up flyers. Already on it, hun. Mike, where are the police? They're on their way, Elle. We've got this handled, sweetheart. I'm sure Fletcher is fine. He's probably off riding the rails, having the time of his life. I had no idea, woman, could feel so dang dismissed. You smile and call me sweetheart. Does Ellie feel like this? See, if only they would listen, I could get this.
woman I need to be, not myself tonight. If I had a kid and the kid ran away, I'd hunt him down and kill him. <gasps> kill him okay i'm sorry i'm not myself today hey are you all okay are you okay i'm not okay what a day even with all this messed up between us Hey hunters, this year's hunt has officially begun. And you know what that means. You see this sign? This is your first clue. This clue will be solved by the fastest mind with the fastest mode of transportation. If it's not here, when you get here, just go on to clue two and beyond. Happy hunting. So where are you headed? Hollywood. Hollywood? This is quite a long bus trip. Do you want to hear a joke? Yeah, I do. What do you call a sad coffee? No clue. Depresso. <laughs> what do you call a man with no body and no nose? I don't know. What do you call a man with no body and no nose? Nobody knows. <laughs> so what's your name? I'm Fletcher. I was talking to him. I'm Caspian. Hi, Caspian. I'm Adam. I think you got to the same school as my sister. Oh, who's your sister? Ellie Blake. Ellie Blake. Your mom is the sandwich lady. Awesome. Does she know where you are right now? Oh. Hey, man. What's wrong? I'm running away. Why? My mom started acting weird and my sister hates me. I'm sure your sister doesn't hate you. Women, kid, women are like sandwiches. What? Women and sandwiches, they always surprise. They're more complicated than burgers or fries or guys. Women and sandwiches, some are cold and some hot. Trust me, my brother, you'll line up for more. For they may be crusty or salty or sour, but women and sandwiches always have the power. And sometimes there's a sandwich with a taste that disagrees, that maybe makes you angry, gives you a 
maggot of the queens But go with it at least a while and soon it's not so strange For time and understanding taste can change Cross that off the list Women and sandwiches like chocolates and wine. Sometimes the strange ones are just the most fine. You look at the outside, the face or the bread. You don't know what's there in that roll or that head. But odds are you like what's inside for y'all. Women and sandwiches, I so love them all. And sometimes there's a sandwich that you looked at just one way. Then suddenly surprise you say a lot and say today. It asked you to do something that you thought was just the cheat. The explanation wasn't so complete. All in all, it's just a simple feat. Maybe you should help her cause she's sweet. And her brother's pretty neat. So you take out the metaphor and you're just talking about girls at this point? You got me. But long may their heavenly mysteries live. Whatever the joys and the sorrows they give. Forever we weirdos we wishing men wrong. Cause women and sandwiches. Women and sandwiches. here before the cops come. Brilliant, mate. Brilliant, mate. Katie, the police are here. Oh, finally. This is a school picture. His hair is longer now. You should put on an APB. Honey, I need to talk to your mom. My mom. Okay. Mom, they need to talk to my mom. I'm the mom. How tall is your son? Uh, yay high. How old? Nine, ten. Ten. What was Fletcher wearing the last time you saw him? A shirt and pants? Brown khakis, blue Minecraft t-shirt, and slide-up black and gray corrective shoes. Corrective shoes. <clears throat> Mrs. Blake, does your son get along with everyone in his life? He and his sister fight sometimes. He can be very annoying. Your son's annoying. Oh, don't write that down. Has Fletcher experienced any recent emotional trauma? Emotional trauma? Mm -hmm. Fletch was his regular happy self today. Oh. But I did hurt him. You hurt him? You hurt him? You hurt him? Earlier in the backyard. You may need some backup. I didn't hurt him physically. I hurt his feelings. It was an accident. Of course it wasn't physical. My mother loves Fletcher. She spoils him rotten. Mm. Uh-huh. That ever make you mad? No, that does not make me mad. I love Fletcher. Everybody loves Fletcher. You seem mad. You think I'm mad? Yeah? Ellie? She thinks I'm mad. You need to find Fletcher!
Fletcher, thank God. Don't do that again, Fletch. Christopher, where are you? Everybody loves you. I'm really glad you're okay, Fletcher. Adam! Yo. What are you doing here? I brought Fletcher home. Well, I'm hungry. I, I could eat. Oh, come on in the kitchen. I'll make everyone something. Bye, Ellie. Uh huh. Uh, good luck with that marriage thing. It never worked out for me. Thanks for bringing Fletcher back. Oh, he's a sweet dude. Hey, at school today, did Ellie act at all weird? You can tell me. Yeah? Knew it. Well, well, we got into kind of a fight about this hourglass. About the hourglass, Adam. I broke one this morning. Ellie was just trying to help. I think that she likes you. Then again, everyone likes you. But I think you should know that she likes you. <gasps> oh, never mind. Never I, mind. I like Ellie, too. You do? Yeah. It, it's kind of weird to talk about this with you. <laughs> yeah, totally. Totally. Uh, would it be cool if I asked her out? That would be fine. Okay. Hey, Adam. I know you're probably in the middle of the hunt and everything, but if you did get the hourglass on the list, it would be worth a lot of sandwiches for me. Is Fletcher okay? He's fine. What's wrong? I'm a horrible mother. I was so focused on having the perfect wedding for Weddings Magazine. Fletcher ran away. I didn't get the hourglass on the list. I messed up. That's... Is Fletcher okay? We heard he was missing. It was on the police radio. Why do you have a police radio? It was on the list for the hunt. Fletcher's home now. Oh, good. How's the hunt going? Terrible. We need Ellie. Well, we do. Girls, today I put Ellie under a lot of pressure. So if she acted like a tool, and I'm pretty sure she did. It was my fault. You guys are all best friends. Can she be back on the team? Yeah. yeah. No. Oh, look, a new clue. An oversized hourglass filled with pink sand. You did it. You have to go. No, just no. Why not? Your life and peer group are both very confusing and the pressure is killing me? You go. You know what, Mom? I would love to go. I've been dying to go on the hunt, but it'd be totally insane to have a mom do it. So maybe you could just dig deep and do this one thing for me? Okay. Wait. I messed everything up today. Tell me what to do. You'll know what to do. I trust you. Come on, let's go! We need to get the easier things first. first. We cannot forget the hourglass. You guys have fun. I'll just be here. Hey, hunters, it's List Master. Now I've got you on the run. Gotta give it all you've got. And don't stop running till it's done. Found the last one, I've got more Each tougher than before And you know I'm keeping score So I'll fall in You'll know just where you're going, kids Never where you've been So go where you never thought you'd go Go, go all in Where the thing you have to find will be found Go there, go there, and be where you are, be, be where, where you are. Ellie Blake, look who's out after curfew. That's right, I'm with my friends now, huh. my real friends. Oh, I'm so scared. Later, Butterfaces. Look, take a roof ride on the L around the loop. On the roof on top of the L? Girls, that sounds very, very unsafe. Hey hunters, yeah. yep, list master, yeah. now if you're falling behind Ooh. Take a breath and look inside, you never know what you might find Ooh. When this highway hits a curve, oh. find the courage, find the nerve oh. To get what you deserve and then fight on, fight on. You only know a place for real once you've been and gone No, 
look, Fletcher's here. It's okay. Not your son, your wedding. The rehearsal dinner didn't happen. I saw your assistant quit. Tori, I wasn't at my best today. Could you maybe not quit? I wish I could quit you. Okay, I need to be candid. This wedding is simply not a cover story for Weddings Magazine. You don't even have a cake anymore. Seven layer bars. You're kidding me. I was just about to say that. We're making seven layer bars. Mom, can I make them too? No. Yeah. Really? Really? really. You know what? We should get you an apron. I love seven layer bars. Go where you never thought you'd go. Go, 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 go all in. Go, go. Everything you have to find might be found and begin. Great robbing at Grayson Cemetery. Extra points for a wreath. Girls, we're not doing anything illegal, are we? Go where you never thought you'd go. Go, go all in. Where the thing we have to find might be Not the being, but becoming Once you are, you'll never be Not the winning, but the wishing Wishes end when you have won Not the ending, but beginning And we've only just begun Yeah, we've only just begun about earlier. I'm sorry about this whole day. Mom, I took a bus by myself. We just made seven layer bars. I hung out with Ellie's boyfriend. <laughs> boyfriend? This has been the best day of my life. Yeah? Yeah. It's not the knowing, it's the learning. What you learn, you'll never know. It's not the having, it's the finding. Once you find it, let it go!
Mom, can you read this to me? Yeah. Right here? Mm -hmm. All right. Peter awoke face down with sand in his mouth and a bird. That was quick. Is he out? Yeah. He's out. Maybe it wasn't a great idea to let him eat brown sugar out of the box. <laughs> um, Mike, I think I owe you an apology for today. Yeah, I was warned. You did say that if you catered our wedding, you'd be a crazy person. I didn't know how crazy, I want to but... apologize for Ellie, too. Ellie? You know, Ellie's a pain, and she's not very nice to you. I don't want to speak out of school, but sweet yams, Katie. Ellie can be mad. It's okay. It is? You're too hard on her. She lost her dad. And I could never replace him. And I wouldn't try. I need Ellie to get to know me on her own terms. Because I love her. And if she wants to be mad at me, well then I can take it. It's not that she's mad at you. She's just... Sometimes she's just mad. She misses her dad. I think she's afraid she might forget him. No one needs to forget him. Not you, not her, nobody. Are we okay? Yeah, we're good. All right. I'm gonna go iron my shirt. sugar-crusted face I understand the urge to run away, kid Stay a while and you might like the place Someday you'll be 16 and awkward And too old for puppets, but still odd The kid, I swear to God, that after all of this and everything, I can tell you it's not true. After all of this and everything, I promise you'll get through. And Mom and Mike, you'll cut some slack, cause both of them have got your back. Whatever crap may come your way. After all of this and everything, kid, you'll be okay. And you might feel like mommy doesn't love you. And you might feel just angry every day. And mad as hell at dad. Because he left you And angry at yourself to feel that way But listen when I say That after all of this and everything I can tell you what I know After all of your own everything You learn to let it go I know this family will get after all of this and everything, Fletcher, I love you. So oh, crap. I love you. And after all of this and everything, I have to face that too.
we gotta get you to bed. Mike? Mike! I like Mike. Yeah. Time for bed, Puppet Master. Oh no. I'm the mom. I have to clean up. Seven shots of espresso in four minutes. His end. Go, 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 go. You're scaring me. We have the Cubs cap. Check. The Bears ball. Check. The Bulls jersey. The Puffin and the Blackhawks. The White Sox socks. Check, check, check. You guys are tied up with Savannah for the lead. Girls, we cannot forget the hourglass. Ellie, we've been to every second hit store in the city. I don't think we're going to find that hourglass. What time is it? Mrs. Time. <laughs> Mrs. Time. Oh my god, I'm so tired. Of course. Oh. It was sold to a secondhand watch shop. Look, there it is right there in the window. Mrs. Time, Mrs. Time, open up. You have some customers out here. It's very early. <laughs> she tells time. <laughs> Hi, I know this is going to sound weird, but we need to buy that hourglass in the window. Ellie, we can't buy clothes. Uh, not buy, borrow. We'll bring it back. No. Please. No. Look. I know what it's like to own a small business. I know what it's like to work a 60-hour week and then get hit with the tax bill that wipes your profits for the quarter. But from one small business owner to another, this favor matters. Please let us borrow it. Fine. But it's just a loan. She's a ninja. I want that hourglass. Too late. My father is an alderman, and if I don't get that hourglass now, he can call the IRS and audit your books for the next five years. I'm sorry, girls, it's business. Nice. But that's not fair. Savannah, give it back. We got here first. So close, but yet at the end, end of the day, you are who you are. Little girl, why don't you call your mommy for a ride home? My mommy wants me to stay. Let it go. What is this feeling that I'm feeling? Like I shot right through the ceiling. Is it only the caffeine and the sugar and the pizza? Dear me, I had three slices of that pizza. Are carbs a feeling that I'm feeling? Like I'm losing it for dealing. It's alarming but appealing and somehow healing. How long has it been since this old heart has skipped a beat? How long have I kept an even keel? How hard have I worked to keep our life so calm and neat? And how good does this freaking chaos feel? Though I don't have the first idea what else may be in store, no, I won't be frightened anymore. No more fear, no more fright. I go bold or I go home. It starts tonight. For you to do what losers do and lose. Savannah, this is a chance for you to become a better person. It's a personal growth experience. Suck it! Yeah! Oh gosh, have I taught my daughter to be cautious at all costs? Have I made her somehow be afraid? Have I held too tightly after all we both have lost? And how do I clean up this mess I made? Cause clearly I can't promise things will all turn out okay. But here's the most important thing I'll say. No more fear, no more dread. No more dwelling on the danger we'll dare to live instead. No more sadness, not one tear. We'll be tough and tough together. No more fear. Let's go, go I can't stand go. looking at your face. It's repulsive. Oh, yes! <laughs> My daughter is perfect. What? No more shyness or embarrassment. No diffidence, no doubt. That self-consciousness and anxiousness. Just throw that stuff right out. Cause I thought I taught you manners. But I mean, I made you meek. And a girl can be.
Just one day, to Mike's my dad, and he says, when are we starting? Fletcher, tell Mike, we'll start when we start. Just one day, to Mike's my dad, and I'm not the only boy in the family. Wow, wow. I, I look, look beautiful. beautiful. We won the hunt. You won? Captain, let's get this party started. Ellie, sweetheart, what are you wearing? Oh, change. Are you nervous? Well, I never thought I'd be in a wedding dress so soon. I remember when Tom gave you that hourglass. He loved you very much. And Mike loved you very much. If he loves you a fraction of how much I love you, everything's going to be OK. Now go marry that very patient man and put on just a little more blush, just a skosh. Oh, sorry, Hannah. Oh, oh, Mrs. Blake, we were just looking for Ellie. She's changing. Well, um, can we go help her? Sure. Oh, yes, thank you. Good luck. Thanks. Mom, there's a chocolate fountain? Yeah? Nobody told me there was gonna be a chocolate fountain. So? So? Go for it. Yes! Okay, let's do this. I think I was sitting right here, and I was on this side, and I was holding with my right, my right hand. Okay, are you ready? Really ready. Let's do this. Now we've got the magic glass, and the magic came to pass, and we learned important things, blah, 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 so many things. And I walked inside your shoes and saw the world your way. In just one day, just one day, just one day, just one day. Just one day. In just one day. Nothing happened. Try again. In just one day. The stupid magic doesn't know when to quit. I don't know what to do. Oh no, what if this means that one day's now every day that I'm stuck like this forever. If I had known, I never would have wished the way I did. I want to stay a kid and not a grumpy grown up with these wrinkles and the stress, the pressure and that Fletcher. Oh my gosh, it's such a mess. I never even got to see life flash before my eyes. It just went away. And now I'll pay today. And if today day. is every day, I will hold you and protect you. I won't let this thing affect you. But we both know that we're screwed with that kind of attitude. There's this whole long life I'll never live, my college years and more. And all that I'll go through again, never so much before. I want to make things right again and tell you it's all fine. I just don't see a way to make this all okay. Today or every day. I can't do this. I can't get married. Of course you can't. Mom, I'm so scared. I'm so scared, Mom. We have to tell Mike. Just walk up there and dump him? Like ripping off a band-aid. Disaster Gosh, struck. this eye was like a mile. I'm glad you're here with me. And Mike will surely see you're not the woman he once knew. And I can never be. There she is. Look at you. You're my sweet little girl. Dearly beloved. Hold the thought. We need to talk. Katie, let's just do this. We'll talk afterwards. Go ahead. Dearly. Stop! Even if he says go ahead, don't! Honey, I know you're scared and I know you're nervous, but... I'm not ready to do this! Harsh! 
this, it's so much harder than I thought it would be. Because the truth is, you're a great person, Mike. And I didn't want another great person in our family because I thought if that happened, I might forget. Forget everything that came before. I was wrong. It turns out you do belong in this family. But I still can't go through with this, even though I love you. Wait, what? Say that again. What? I love you. I love you. Honey, listen to me. If today is every day, I will be here, I will love you, I will put no one above you, cause I love your messy hair, I love your grouchy glare, the way you dress and all your mess, I love them through and through, whatever makes you happy, I want for you, I do, I'm telling you it's true, cause darling, I love you for you, and you know I love you for you. Just this way, today and every day. Loved my seven layer bars. It starts today. His best man speech murdered. I got my license to practice couples therapy. It starts today. I'm going to yell on a fast track PhD program. Eat my dust. Today and every day. I was going to be Oh my God. Excuse me. We're not going to the same family. Hello. Get one at Walmart. I got this. You and me, Blake, this summer, you and me. I failed gym. That means summer school. I have to do summer school too. If you want, I could give you a ride. That would be cool. Gross, for a minute it looked like you guys were about to make out. Come on, I made you a puppet so you can be in my act. 